we're going to talk about allergies. We all know what allergy is, right? But um, it's also known as hypersensitivity. It's a disorder of our immune system. It's also known as atrophy. Um, substance, substances that often cause it is called, are called allergens. Um, so examples of allergy disorders are hay fever, which is seasonal. It's also called allergic rhinitis, and it's from pollen from trees, grass, and weeds. Another example of an, an allergy disorder is perennial allergic rhinitis. It's caused by dust mites, mold spores, pet and erosions all year. Um, food allergies are very common too, and the most common of them are nuts, shellfish, berries. Um, you can also be allergic to insect bites, which is called hemingnoptera venom allergy, and it's caused by bees, mosquitoes, and hornets, bug bites. Um, drug allergies can cause, can be from different medications, and it could be from penicillin or any other medication. Um, it's estimated about 50 million North Americans that are affected by allergies, and it costs about $10 million billion dollars in the U.S. yearly. And you can go to you can go to YouTube and just type in algae and it'll explain to you better. Um, the symptoms of allergy, it can cause runny nose, itchy eyes, um, sneezing, wheezing. Who has allergies here? You would all know, right? Um, it could also cause a lot of rashes and hives, angioedema, which is um, swelling, um, exacerbation of asthma, and um, it could be fatal, but it could be treated. Um, so how do you get allergies? Um, a person usually, um, a person's immune system fights germs. It's the body's defense system, and um, in most allergic reactions, though, it is responding, responding to false alarm. I will get into that more later. And um, both a person's genes and the environment can also play a significant role to it. Um, if one parent has allergies, it is more like, very likely for the offspring to have allergies. To diagnose and treat them, you can diagnose allergies with prick testing and thermal testing. There's no
So the pathophysiology of allergies, um, it'd be really better if there was a picture, but basically um, you're, you're exposed to the allergen, right? So for example, this is your cell. And then the allergen you get exposed for the first time. And then, so you, your, your cell uh, makes IV antibodies, and then it attaches to the mast cell. So what happens is, um, when, when you're exposed again to the allergen, so like, it's your mast cell, you're exposed again, and what happens is when it binds to it, it, it explodes. And that's what causes the symptoms of your allergy. You sneeze, you're itchy, and you get everything. Okay. So that's it. And we're, we're going to talk about seminal fluid hypersensitivity. Um, so what is it, right? It's very rare. Only 5% of women have it. And it can be, pro it can be allergy from the protein, or it can be allergy from um, what the, 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 the partner ate. For example, if the partner ate peanuts and you're allergic to peanuts and, you know, so yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So symptoms usually occur right after sexual intercourse, about 15 minutes after that. 50% of women with semen allergy have allergic disorders, allergic disorders too. They have um, skin allergy or allergic pregnancy, all that. Um, most women experiencing this is about 20 to 41 years old, and yeah, they they the first time. It could be like pregnant, but it could be high redness. So symptoms. Vaginal itching, burning and swe swelling in the genital area, appearance of blisters, mm -hmm. hives, redness, angioedema, uh, which is swelling of every part of your body and or any part, and difficulty breathing. I'm seeing a lot of smiles there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, so my case person. There's, there was a 28-year-old um, female who came into our allergy clinic, and she came in and she complained about severe vaginal itching and burning right after se sexual intercourse. So, but even though it started like after, right after after that, it actually resolved itself an hour after exposure, and so. <clears throat> The patient also noted that um, if the seminal fluid gets its contact with any other part of her body, it gets very itchy. She gets very itchy. Mm -hmm. Is that always the case? I'm sorry. Um, is well, that question is still the end. Okay. okay. Um, symptoms occurred three years ago. First time she did it, I guess, for that person. And she didn't say that she had any difficulty breathing or shortness of breath or throat closing, only itchiness and swelling. Um, the patient had two partners, and it didn't happen to her the first time because she didn't have unprotected sex. But the second time, because because she was they were trying to have a baby, um, this is what happened. Um, the patient has. Hysteria, fever, food allergy, and dermatitis. And 